It's 12.06, CJME weather for West 25th Greenhouse. It's now easier to get to us with direct access off Louvain at Parliament Avenue, online west25th.com. Mainly sunny today with a high of 17, stays mostly clear tonight with a low of 3. Sunny tomorrow, a few clouds in the afternoon and a high of 17. Across Saskatchewan this hour, Saskatoon 13, Weyburn 14, Estevan Carlisle 13, Broadview Moose to Minnesinaboya and Gravelberg at 11, Swift Current and Yorkton both at 12. In Moose Jaw, northwest wind gusting to 33, it's 13. In Regina, mostly sunny, northwest wind at 30, it's 14. CJME is the station that does live local news on the hour, on the half hour, and when it breaks, it's 12.07. I'm Joel Gasson. Can you tell us? Send your tips to cjme.com. Powered by Audio Warehouse. Online for you at audiowarehouse.ca. Ugh, another day of shopping. And that's a problem? We got Mom an Eclipse medical scooter from MediChair. Now I can't keep up with her. Quality time shopping with your mom. I wish I had that problem. You can. MediChair has mid-sized scooters that work well both indoors and out. It might get your mom out more. Problem solved. Shopping, here we come. Compact, mid-size, luxury, or premium. There's an Eclipse medical scooter for every need, taste, and budget at MediChair in Regina and Moose Jaw. This is a paid program. Talk to the experts on Regina's number one news and information station. News Talk 980 CJME. Hi, this is Dave Arnold. Welcome to News Talk 980 CJME's Talk to the Experts. Special guests in the studio with me. First off, Debbie Ackerman. Debbie, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, thank you. Joining us as well is Bonnie Wittes. Bonnie, good to see you again. Hi, Dave. And uh, for the first time actually meeting today, uh, Mira Sue. Mira, welcome. Yeah, thank you. And welcome in more ways than one. I know you've been here for a little while, but yeah. uh, welcome to Regina. Welcome to Canada. Yeah. And we're going to get into your story a little <laughs> bit later, but I, we're going to be talking about Nacelle today. Um, Debbie, I, I guess first off, what is Nacelle? NACEL is the is the international um, student exchange program that um, has been around for since 1957. It's basically a company that uh, brings students from all over the. So, the ones that have been dreading it and yeah, trying it to isn't that exciting? The park out of the basement. Yeah. But being able to share the excitement of others reignites that in, in ourselves. And that's what happens at our home. Mm -hmm. Mira has is an absolute joy. Mm -hmm. and, and I don't know how we're going to part with her to begin with. But I, we certainly know that we're sending away one really good poker player. <laughs> <laughs> how difficult is it to be a host family? Is this, is this like... 24 days, 17 days, it's just it's, it's work, 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 and it's like... Absolutely not. It, <coughs> you know, it's just, if you've ever had children yourself, or if you're used to people, our place is sort of like Grand Central Station anyway, people coming and going. But not only have we, do we get to enjoy um, the people that share our lives, and we can share our life with them. But I had a friend over yesterday and said, you know, this has been so exciting. It's always so exciting for them. Because they get to, you know, they don't have to have an extra bedroom, but they get to uh, to enjoy and experience. I know way more about Taiwan than I did. Yeah. I know way more about um, all of these countries, and, and and of course, um, I know through the summer program that should I ever have time to make it to France, I've got about eight places to stay. <laughs> Well, it, it seems to me that the latest interpretation of people going, oh, okay, I have to, you know, do all this really special things. And, I mean, what if you're, you know, just planning on going out to the cabin for a couple of weeks in the summer or, or going camping, Debbie? Is that, is that the type of thing? Or do you, you need the major road trip off to see the nation's capital? Or, do you, how does it work? No, not at all. Um, if whatever your family does, these kids just get right in. Hmm. They're here for a cultural experience. Um, some of them, however, have a workbook that their parents have asked that they do, and that's done in the home. It's supplied by myself, um, and they're to do an hour and a half of work 10 of the days that they're here. But otherwise, they are here to hang out with you and your family to, to experience Canada, to better their English, 
And, you know, if you're going camping for a week, that's great. The more places they can see, of course, the better. Mm -hmm. But um, there's a lot to see in Regina. Yeah. You know, and, and you really learn a lot more about your city when you do have a student, you know, that that you want to take around and show things. Well, the bonus thing, too, is like you, you see your own city and your own country with, with a different set of eyes, with fresh eyes. Oh, for sure. For sure. So what are the requirements to be a host family, Debbie? What, what, I mean, because uh, there's people out there who are going, oh, that sounds kind of interesting, you know? What, 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 I, what do I need to do? Okay, well, basically, um, you have to be over 24 years of age, and there has to be more than one person in the home mm -hmm. to constitute a family. So if it's a mother with a child or, you know, mother and father with children, um, just basically, and you are to provide them with their own room, um, for the summer program, you know, sometimes they can share room, but they have to have their own bed. Mm -hmm. And you are responsible for three meals a day or access to three meals a day. So, so you don't necessarily have to cook three meals a day, but you have to make sure that the basics are there. That and they break, know, kind of, yeah. yeah, what they can eat. And, and um, the summer kids, we don't like them to go off by themselves because they get lost very easy. Mm. And it's very scary when that <laughs> happens. And... Um, yeah, you basically, you know, if your kids do chores, they do chores. They're treated just like one of your family members. So, If people want to get some more information, Debbie, how, how should they do it? Uh, please call me. Um, I'd be more than happy to come out and meet you and, and go over the program. Any questions you might have? What's the number to call? 545-0901. Uh, so 545-0901, they can get directly in touch with you. Yes. Uh, a website as well that people can take a look at and get some more information? Yeah. Yes, there is at nacel.ca. They can look on. That has information on the summer program as well as the, the school year program. So it's N-A-C-E-L, nacel, 